Copenhagen, a city of experiences. When you think of a city, what comes to mind? High rises? Traffic jams? Dense crowds? Or perhaps something more like green parks, waterfront promenades, and cobblestone streets that invite you to stroll leisurely and soak in the sights. Copenhagen is all of these things. The Danish capital has one of the highest ratios of green space per capita in the world. It's home to more than 200 cafes and bars, many nestled into the narrow side alleys called caves that are everywhere here. In fact, its array of restaurants is so impressive it was once named the world's food capital by Lonely Planet. Copenhagen is also home to some of Europe's most progressive architecture. The city has adopted an innovative new way to build housing, while reducing energy consumption by 70%, and carbon dioxide emissions by 40%. Micro-apartments that share common facilities on a single site, or within walking distance from each other. Copenhagen is the capital and largest city in Denmark, with a population of just over 1 million. The city is situated on the islands of Zeeland and Amar, and is connected to the island of Finn by a series of bridges and to Sweden across the Sound, by a bridge-tunnel bridge configuration. Copenhagen is located in the northern part of the island of Zeeland, and has a latitude of 55 degree 47 n and a longitude of 12 degree 9 e. The surrounding Great Belt, which connects Zealand to the island of Funen, is spanned by three ship and car ferries. What is so special about Copenhagen? The city's compactness, wealth of attractions and experiences, and welcoming people make it an ideal place to visit and to live. In fact, it was just named the happiest city in Europe. If you're looking to kick off your career, or simply want to try life in a new country, Copenhagen could be the perfect fit for you. A brief history of Copenhagen. The area we now know as Copenhagen has been inhabited since the Stone Age. The first documented settlements date back to the 9th century. Since then, the city has often been affected by war, plague, and natural disasters including a major fire in 1795 that reduced much of Copenhagen to ashes. Copenhagen remained the capital of Denmark despite losing its status as the country's largest city in the early 1900s to now rivaled Ordense. Throughout the 20th century, Copenhagen was at the forefront of social and political change in Denmark. It hosted two United Nations conferences and is home to Denmark's first democratically elected parliament. Why visit Copenhagen? Copenhagen's compactness makes it easy to see the city's highlights on foot, or by using its extensive public transportation system. There is something for everyone here. History buffs, the city has more than 1,000 museums, architecture aficionados, foodies, and culture vultures. What to see in Copenhagen? Copenhagen's Rodiv railway station is a breath of history. Built in the early 20th century in the style of the terminus stations of the Orient Express, the station has been fully restored to its original design. The Round Tower, a 17th century defensive tower and Copenhagen's oldest secular building, standing on the banks of the River Siver and overlooking the City Hall Square, was once used as a lookout and as a source of drinking water. The Copenhagen Botanical Gardens, established in the 1680s, are one of the world's largest and oldest botanical gardens, boasting more than 10,000 species of plants on 84 hectares of land. The Copenhagen City Hall Square, the site of Copenhagen's original city hall, is today the capital's main square. The square is host to an impressive number of activities and events, including the traditional open-air Christmas market, the world-renowned Carlsbad Music Festival, and Copenhagen's annual carnival parade. Activities in Copenhagen. Copenhagen Sightseeing. This city pass gives you a great overview of Copenhagen and all its attractions. 
you can choose to start the tour at either the harbour, the Tivoli Gardens, or the railway station. Copenhagen Cooking A Copenhagen cooking tour is a fun way to learn more about the city's food culture, while tasting some of its most iconic dishes. The tour guides will take you to the best supermarkets where you can stock up on local ingredients and recipes that you can try out at home. Copenhagen Half Marathon Copenhagen is one of the most beautiful cities to run a half marathon. And it is a very popular race, so you're sure to make new friends. Where to stay in Copenhagen? You can't go wrong in Copenhagen, whether you choose to stay in the city center or closer to the outskirts. Some of our favorite hotels are Hotel Fox. This centrally located four-star hotel is one of Copenhagen's most popular options. An ideal choice for groups and families. Copenhagen Marriott Hotel. This luxurious hotel is located right in the heart of Copenhagen. It's within walking distance of Tivoli Gardens and the Copenhagen Central Station. The city's most important attractions. The Round Tower. Copenhagen's oldest secular building, the Round Tower was built in 1642 as a defensive structure and a source of drinking water. Today, the tower houses a museum and offers a fantastic view of Copenhagen's city center. The Opera. The Royal Danish Opera is one of Copenhagen's most famous buildings, and is a true architectural gem. The Little Mermaid. This famous statue is a must-see for all fairy tale fans and one of Copenhagen's most famous attractions. Why you'll love living in Copenhagen. Copenhagen is a thriving city that pays close attention to the needs of its residents. The city is known for its progressive policies, including free education and healthcare, free public transport, and extensive green spaces. Copenhagen is also a safe city, with low crime rates and few public health issues. Copenhagen is increasingly becoming a hub for startups and tech companies, making it an attractive place for those looking to start a career. English is widely spoken, and the city's high quality of life makes it an easy place to settle down. Bottom line. Copenhagen is the perfect place to experience Europe in all its diversity, whether it be people, architecture, or culture. The Danish capital is well worth a visit, whether you're a history buff exploring the city's past, or a foodie eager to try Copenhagen's rich culinary scene. Finally, have you ever wish of traveling the world and make money at the same time? Without ever creating your own products or websites? Then let me show you how to set up your own online business empire to make $100 to $200 a day. And how you can get started right now, click the link below for more info. If you like this type of video, please like, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our future videos. Thank you.